Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are getting down to the nitty gritty here. In fact, I don't even have to count because it's only two away from the end on the left side. Cenobia number 14. Here we go. Okay, we're not going just yet. I, I wanted to practice exiting menus. <laughs> So, yeah, we got nine minutes worth of time, and that's honestly pretty generous, as this is probably one of the easiest ones um, to actually do a time trial on, as long as you keep going. And you can even fall a couple of times while while doing this one, too. It's not that big of a deal in the slightest. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, I should have my bow out right away here, because I'll be doing a lot of shooting before we get to the uh, actual main event of doing damage to Cenobia, but, uh, yeah, that'll come when the time is right. And come on, Cenobia. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, I gotta climb up. You know the deal with this. Gotta climb up to the pillars, get them to make them fall over, and it looks like, yeah, he's gonna slam that one right away. Very nice. And I know he's on this side, so I'm gonna face this way, and uh, get ready to flick an arrow at him. Oop, I missed. <laughs> Somehow. Wait, why don't I switch back to the sword? I don't know. Ah! And then he breaks down, and then I end up flopping over to the side, like so, and then I jump over, and we just continue like this until it is all over, and then I can start, start actually doing damage to the stinker. Uh, well, the last one isn't the pillar, you're actually going to be destroying the, the starting area of this particular place, and, uh, oh yeah, that's right, <laughs> this is not a pillar there, I'm thinking of another one that you go to the end and then jump over to the side. Anyway, going up. Going up, it's going to take a little while for Cenobia to get here anyway, so... Anyway, where are you? Where? Are, oh, you're already here, actually. Very nice. <laughs> the faster you are, the better off I am. Ah, uh, you're over there, I see. Oh, can't hit the floor, no. Nope. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just face this way. I'm going to crouch down with R1, so I don't go all haphazard off the deep end. And then I should flop over to... Oh! <laughs> That's work. That worked just fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe I should have been hanging off the edge, but whatever. Like you know, hanging off the back edge as it's falling that way. And the pillars will always fall in the direction that you need them to fall perfectly each and every time. Whoa! You did that a little early. <laughs> I'm I'm quite happy with your speed today, Sonobia. Uh, wait, I hit you the first time. I don't need to do it a second time. And there we go. I'm gonna go off to there. There we go. I think that's a little bit safer. And bloop! Look at that! Nice and safe. As long as I'm not on the ground, I don't have to worry about being chain attacked to death, but as I said, this is one of the easiest ones in the time attack, just as long as you keep going. Alright, first slam, there we go. And the second slam's gotta come through enticement, or say angerment, or angering. And I'm gonna go off the end, there we go. It's gonna flop over to the arch. And bloop. well, it's not really an arch, it's more like a standing structure of sorts, part of a ruins. Because the arch has that, you know, roundness to it that's all flat. Yeah, going up and up and there we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. I said wait for it. I don't think it knows what it wants to do. <laughs> Come on, slam it. Slam it. Slam it once. Slam! Am I gonna have to entice you to do it at, you know, you know, once? Or are you just getting stuck on stuff? <laughs> Nyah! Come on, slam it! Slammer! Slammer jammer! Okay, there's one. It's gotta be slammed twice, though. Mm, boop! And boop! Come on, hurry up! I made some good time here uh, at the earlier portions, but, uh, kinda slowing down here! <laughs> And there we go! Whee. There's two more of these to do here. Uh, one after the structure, uh, the tall structure here, and then one underneath in at the beginning of the ruins there. I'm gonna go hop over around here. Yeah, you can't break down the structure whatsoever, so don't worry about it. He might uh, try and shake you off it though, as best he possibly can, but don't worry about it too much. 
Um, where are you? Okay, you're over there, so I can safely hop over here. There you go. I just didn't want to be shaken as I was uh, going off the edge, because that would that would be kind of bad if I had to climb back up here. <laughs> Especially when I'm trying to make good time. And where's my cursor? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't actually see it at first. It was there. It was safe. It was good. And here we go. Cutscene time. Oh yeah. Well, cutscene number two. <laughs> And, whoa! <laughs> I just got flung! I hope that didn't do any damage. Eh, let me up, let me up! He's coming! Actually, where is he? <laughs> Probably is somewhere on the other side. Uh, okay, I can go around this way relatively safely. I'm gonna try and call him as I'm going through here just to speed things along, but I do not want him to knock me off of here, otherwise that's probably gonna be a losing run, because it's hard to recover from that because he keeps knocking you off of that if you're over on that edge. So, yeah. Just make sure you get up here before he gets around. Hey there! How's it going? <laughs> hey! Would you, like, would you like to knock down one more pillar? I would very much appreciate if you would. Come on, you could do it! You could do it! All by your little self! Um, aren't you gonna... Or do I have to shoot you here to get you going? Get those juices flowing? <laughs> I should get the sword out now. And prepare. There we go. Now it's gonna break open its own back armor, and we will be golden and ready to start demolishing this beast. Did I get knocked out again? I hope I didn't. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Are you ready, Sonovia? All right. <laughs> no, I didn't get knocked out. I was up, kind of stuck in the corner though. Alright, I'm gonna go up here, I think. And I'm gonna... Yeah, actually, maybe I should wait a little more. <laughs> Gotta get on top of them in a nice, efficient manner. Oh, shoot. Mm, whoop! Hey, uh, hey, how's it going? Yeah! Ha -ha! And now the damage can be done! But can I defeat him in just a little over three minutes? We shall see! Come on, come on, come on. He doesn't shake nearly as much as Celosia does, but uh, he still shakes a good amount. I'm gonna need to get a little bit more on here. Come on, climb up one there. <laughs> climb up, climb up, climb up. You can climb while he's shaking. I know you can do that. I've seen you do it before, and you're doing it now. <laughs> it, there just isn't very much surface here, so he kind of kind of flops around the edges a whole lot, you know, of uh, Sinopia's body, and... Yeah, just just kind of a sort of mini uphill battle, but it's not nothing that you're really unaccustomed to playing hard mode up to this point, so let's just put it that way. There we go. I might need to recover my stamina, but I'm not too worried about that, all things considered. because uh, there's not it's not really a, a difficulty in doing so. Mm, come on, come on, come on. Uh stop moving, stop moving. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, I guess you can do that jump if you'd like to. Just as long as you stop, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> and oh, no, you're moving again, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll just let you do your thing. Eventually, I'll be able to get, get a nice, good shot off ya. Um, maybe I'll actually, maybe I will recover my stamina after all. I'll go across here, and then I'll go up here, and then I'll just wait a bit. So, uh. Having a good day? Weather's fine? Doing well? Hey, yeah. I, I see you there. And hit your head into here. It's, it makes it easier for me to get some hits off. Is you kind of knock yourself silly. <laughs> How did I roll on your back? It's kind of weird. Yeah, this is another way to do it, is to make him knock himself silly so that you can get some hits off on him. So he's not flailing around nearly as much. Uh, but it's, a, it's because it takes him a while to recover. Like, you'll notice that... Uh, I was able to get a bunch of hits on him before he started rampaging around the area. Uh, but, well, once he starts doing the rampaging, then it's then it becomes a whole lot more difficult to actually get hits off him. But as long as he stops near a spot that I can climb up of, and then he can ram his head into, it's not that big of a... Oh, whoops! <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. And he actually shook me off successfully by uh, ramming me into the actual border of that stinker. Okay, let's do this again one last time. 
Come on, baby. You can do it. <laughs> he just knocks himself out again without no remorse whatsoever. No repercussions I'll think he'll have, but now there's repercussions and that repercussion is death. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, it's it's one of the easier ones to do in time attack mode. And I was even messing around quite a bit there. Uh, near, and like when I was allowing it to rampage around the area and I just didn't get up on, onto one of the pillars. But yeah, if you just want to do it a little faster, just let him knock himself out. I wasn't worried about the, the clock at all on that one. There's plenty of time, just as long as you do everything really smoothly. You know, you go from one pillar to the next uh, in sequential order and just don't fall off. I mean, if you fall off, you'll still have enough time to do it, but just don't fall off too much basically. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Happy Easter, by the way. <laughs>